Hey there. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to discuss with you how you can install Jira on Ubuntu Linux. The setup instructions explained in this video will be applicable to almost any type of Linux distribution. Uh, but for my use, I'm installing it on Ubuntu. And I hope that this tutorial will help you install in any other distribution of your choice just few changes here and there but most of the stuff is pretty much common in almost every Linux distribution so first we'll go to Atlassian website so on this uh, page you'll find that there is a downloadable version and cloud version you can download the one which suits your needs uh, for my usage I am sticking with a downloadable self-hosted version and after that I am going to get the installer on my local computer I have also the installers for Windows as well these are pretty old version as you can see we have now a latest version which is 4.5 I guess so that's first thing you download the installer then you have to find which one suits your computer if it's 32 bit or 62 4 bit once you do that go to your terminal and just type sudo then type the name of the file which is atlassian dash jira dash 4.4.4 dash x32 dot bin after that make sure that there is chmod permission which is applied here chmod a plus x then name of the file once you do that run the file again with command dot slash name of the file after that installer will start and it will ask you to install or not <coughs> after that it will ask you for the directory and then it will ask you for data storage directory which is in var folder then atlassian okay so these are two options that it will ask after that it will ask one last question which is if you want to install Jira as service which you will if you want it on production server okay now the server is already started and you can access the setup on localhost colon ADAT and hit enter after that it will take you to the jira setup page then first question it will ask you for database configuration so this is the most recommended setting and unless you have any external database you should select this and click next it will take some time asking you please wait while database is set up this may take a minute Internal database could be anything like SQLite or maybe MySQL version of Jira or perhaps some other small inbuilt database. If you don't want to use that, you can just point Jira to external database. All you have to do is give the production environment settings like name of your uh, host server database username and password etc once you do that it will take some time to set things up and it will take you to the second step in between we'll check what else we can do with Jira it allows us project tracking code integration and reporting so 
so this is really handy feature and that's Jira it's connected to bit bucket so you can also point Jira setup to your Bitbucket repositories and based on that you can use it for defect tracking we will get into this um, in next tutorial but for now we will stick with the installation part In next step it will ask you to enter your company name so in my case I will type Devanami after that it will ask you to use either public or private mode so only administrators can create new users in private mode in public any user can sign up and post issues so we'll just have it that way public then the base URL will be localhost 8080 so that any links made with this URL will have it okay after that <laughs> license key sorry for interruption okay so we'll have to paste license key here if you are new user you can generate evaluation key or if you are already a user of Atlassian then you can paste that one over there if you click on this link and go to your Atlassian profile and from there you can generate the license key click on next for license verification okay so the next step is creating the password or you can just create some generic one so I'm just 
this going we want to three four five six and hope that's enough okay so fourth last step is email notification so whenever there is some bug or defect we can use the email notification we can enable or disable it whenever we want but at to the installation level we have been given a choice for disabling it so i am keeping that as it is so yes our setup is finished Now our setup is complete. We can log into Jira. Okay, so let's now enter our username and password to check if we can log in. Okay, so the password is accepted and we will be taken to the dashboard. So as you can see, our dashboard is shown here and we have admin access here. So we have to create a project, then add users. After that, we can restore or backup our previous data if there is any also configure Jira for permissions and we have license limitations here so license here expires in 29 days from today if you have purchased the license then it will show the respective length of validity then there is also option for green hopper which we can add here also there is data importing from other system or similar other uh, softwares and here we have been given a choice for HSQL DB which is internal database for our operations and it is not recommended to use it for production servers but for now we are using it because we are just getting familiar with the system okay so that is pretty much it in next tutorial I will give you a brief overview of each of these options available as an administrator I will also create a new user and I will file the bugs and do some collaborating on this machine simultaneously to show you how it works hope to see you in the next tutorial thank you